Is Webtoons dying as a platform? Let's find out together, shall we? So I happened to stumble across this tweet saying, so Webtoons are dead, right? Like we're all in agreement here, yeah? They don't respect value or pay their originals fairly. They're gutting the creator program. They're importing content more and more often. They've told creators exactly what they think of them. And well, obviously I was confused. So I had to look this up. So apparently there's a monetization program within Webtoon called Webtoon Canvas, and they're actually ending the Canvas program. And Webtoon Canvas is a way to supplement the existing ad revenue for their creators. Now, according to this notice, apparently Canvas was always intended to be temporary, but judging by the responses I've seen online, that was not effectively communicated. Now, that doesn't justify ending it in the first place, but I do just want to clarify before we continue that Canvas was always intended to be temporary. But regardless of whether or not this was always the plan or not, that doesn't make it necessarily good, and it sure as shit doesn't mean that the creators are happy about it. So let's dive into some of the responses we're getting from creators. So we've got Koala Phoenix saying, for everyone who has a Webtoons original, this means nothing. But for Canvas creators, this is a big chunk of what little income I do get from Webtoons gone. When they start it, don't tip through Webtoons, tip through Ko-Fi. And I think that's really solid general advice. If you want to tip a content creator, you should always do it through a third party platform like Ko-Fi, which gives them a much higher percentage of their tip. And if you are a content creator of any kind, Webtoons or otherwise, you should absolutely have a Ko-Fi set up if people want to donate to you. So that's just something to keep in mind. I do love this post by Web Comics Hub. Webtoon ending the creator program is actually good. All those Canvas creators were getting way too comfy being able to afford food and pay rent. Ugh, what a bunch of entitled assholes. <laughs> they need to get it together and stop taking handouts from the poor, hardworking giant corporation that profits off of their work. Amen, brother. Nobody wants to work anymore. Everyone just wants a handout. <laughs> And it seems that a lot of people in the Webtoons community are predicting the downfall of Webtoon because of this decision. So while Webtoon is speedrunning their own downfall, I do have an alternative. The end is not nigh. If you as either a consumer or a content creator have issues with Webtoon and you want to jump ship and abandon it, might I recommend Tapas. It's a very similar platform that has a slightly different format. So just a couple of features of Tapas to sort of encourage more people to jump ship to specifically punish Webtoon for not giving their creators a larger chunk of money through their canvas program. As far as I'm aware, there is no reason not to publish on multiple platforms because as stated right here, the work that you create does not belong to Tapas Media. I think there might be a different arrangement with uh, certain programs in Webtoon where there's a exclusivity contract, but if they're taking away that Canvas fund, then there's no reason to say, there's no reason to stay exclusive to Webtoon anymore. Ultimately, no matter what you decide to do after this new Webtoons update, I wish all creators and consumers the best of luck moving forward. That's all I got for you today. Bye guys!